guys, I'm showing you the memory zone ending. So let's go. <laughs> yeah. Just some stuff around here. I just want to look around. I'm not a newcomer to this stuff. I have seen this before. What is that? I just, I just couldn't get. Y'all damn look around. So, I'm looking around myself. Stanley, come I'm over here, here in, in the vent. vent. I want to show you something. something. This is a warehouse shelf. Here's what happens if you go this way. I promise we're going. We're, we're at. We're going over there. Oh. oh. You don't want to see the, the cool, cool surprise, surprise that maybe you will find. Fine. You're a dog okay. anyway, so who cares? Okay. Luckily, I didn't make it to the part where the door closed, closes behind you. What? Okay. This is what happens if you go back. Oh, never mind. You're not a dog. So we are going into the vent. For some for some reason you can't uncrouch at this part. Oh. We kind of went to the wrong area. Like it almost went back. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new ultra deluxe content turned out to be. Let me think about the past. And how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here when the game developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. See, that's the memory zone there. There's just some stuff back here. Here we go. I call it the, the memory zone. zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Okay, you can barely see what I like another memory zone over there. Yeah! You see, Stanley, Stanley. doesn't the, the memory zone of remind you of, of how, how wonderful Stanley Parable was, was before it was selling with a cheap Nintendo Switch port? Remember back like in October, October of 2013, 2013 when the game originally launched? Back, back then, video games, games had integrity. integrity. Back, back then, it all, it all meant something. something. Oh, the waste. Wait. Memory, sweet memory. Ah, uh, 2014 when the Stanley Parable was released. Don't forget the Stanley Parable. The magazines. This looks like that there is a book of it. There might be a book. Might be a book of the Stanley Parable. Cool. Stanley Parable. Good times. Yeah, yeah, it is a long ending because I'm you know, Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stepley Parable in 2013. Trip down my way. Smile because it happened. The Stepley Parable demonstration. The Stepley Parable alpha test. Go outside, don't play for five years. But this one has like a way crazier one. This one says, Super go outside. Don't play the Stanley Parable for ten years. So so it's kind of like the same one by but, but it's just multiply. Achievable is impossible to get this achievement. Memories on. 
so happy, Pedro. Okay, I'm wearing speaking. What the heck? What the heck? I feel like I'm pretty smart because I'm singing. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna go. And over here is my little reveals of the Stephanie Bell. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism, James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote. Where's We're some so money games that inspired to me more than games, games and of less than any form of art? Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be, to be every, every game, game ever, ever created. created. Don't you, you get it, Stanley? Every, every game, game ever created. That's how grand and all encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every, every, every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them. And now, it's nothing. It's, it's no games at all. It isn't, it isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's, it's just, just a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator, elevator content. The people were like elevators, they were like that. Memories all maintenance, we're going to win the video. Sorry, spoilers. <laughs> hey, that's not there anymore. I'm gonna go to that Minecraft. <laughs> This one is nostalgic. It was good. 2014. 2011 mod. Stanley and Mariella. Both of the off on and the other buttons. Let's get the work on. The original. Here's another movie. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever, ever been, been confronted, confronted with in a game. game. Nine out of ten. Don't, Don't you get it, Stanley? The, the game, game was perfect. perfect. It didn't need it anything else. else. It, it didn't, didn't need new content. content. All, All they, they had to do was transport it in pristine condition along to the Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch. Boom! Done! And they, they couldn't even do that! Couldn't resist the urge to go meddling with a beloved franchise. People play games because of what they can do inside them. And your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. Literally anything. But you're not memorized twenty nine. When you're not memorized display, please enter the demonstration room. Thank you. And have a pleasant demonstration. There might be a third review. Oh, hmm. These were so simpler, simpler times, times Stanley. Stanley. But I, I wouldn't, wouldn't give, give to go back to have it all over <laughs> again. Why? See? The door is open now. <laughs> Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone, zone before. What's, What's this? What's, What's down here? Cool drinks. Oh, oh God, no, Stanley! Collection of reviews from pressurized gas. The extremely popular online games. I haven't been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were going as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game the full complete. The race is not enough. I'm with his humor and dialogue, dialogue proving to be more, more irritating, irritating than entertaining. entertaining. Unfunny! I 
I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious quick of art. I dumped a handful, handful of gags to insert into the family parable. Here's why it's such a densely layered with the crown philosophical insight. I can't even imagine where I have to be to fix them. See what this one says. Oh, the the preachiness gets annoying. Preachy, Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can't. This is actually quite shocking for me. I always, to be honest, I had always sort of against dialogue. It's being better first to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from you. Get it to feel as light and airy as it. Well, well, I always wanted it, but maybe, maybe it wasn't. wasn't. Oh dear. What an what awful memory to have to hold on to. to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. record. I feel, I feel like, like a failure. Like, like I let these people down. down. Perhaps the Stanley parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. No, you say. Say. Do, 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 do. You, you possibly have to stop do doing anything. anything. The can catch up with the long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish, I wish there was, there was a, a skip button. button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. Truly too preachy then. then maybe we just give ahead for just a moment. Surely it couldn't hurt. It means we can strike these negative reviews for the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. You know, I was starting to think I would add the skip button in this video, but now since it's 12 minutes long, how about now? There's nothing happening at this point. So stop watching this right now. Wow, wow, wow.